Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this quick video, we want to review some of the options available for background assets. So if I select one of my background images, you'll see we have a few different options over here on the right hand side. We can adjust things like position, rotation, and scale, which could also be adjusted simply by clicking and dragging on the items in the scene editor, but you can make more refined and number specific edits by adjusting those items in the options bar here. Next, we have the opacity. Currently, the opacity is set to 1, which means that it's a fully opaque image. But if we adjust this and set it to something like 0.5, we can introduce some translucent behavior to this image. And we can now see through some of this background image because it's at 50% opacity. So you can adjust this value between 0 and 1. I'm just going to turn this all the way back up to 1 for now. And next we have the image. We can make specific edits to the image itself by clicking the edit icon here and then adjusting the brightness, contrast, and so on. Or we could also swap in a different image. You can delete the image simply by clicking this X button on the image box. And if you wanted to swap out another image quickly for this background, you could just click and drag another image on top of this box right here to swap it out. Next we have the speed setting. Now the speed setting sets how fast the background scrolls for parallaxing throughout your game. Now you can set all your background images to move at the same speed, but you can add more depth to your game if you vary these speeds a little bit. What I mean is that items that appear closer to the viewer's field of view, like these mountains, that are a little closer to the viewer in terms of distance in the background, these would appear to move quicker normally if we were watching this game and moving along with our character. It would appear that the things that are closer in the background would move quicker, while some of the objects like these clouds in the back would move slower. So here you'll see for these mountain images, we've set the speed to be 0.6. However, for the far back cloud backgrounds, we've set the speed to be 0.2, and that just adds a little bit of depth of motion as the game is played. Next we have our tiling offset, and this can be negative or positive. This is just the space between a tiled image, so if you have a background that repeats, you can adjust the space between that repetition of the background here. And finally we have the fixed rotation checkbox. If you select this, the Fixed Rotation option allows for tiling or stacked tiling when you rotate an image. And this is good for using with brick style images that you might want to stack in your backgrounds. So just remember, you can make basic changes and adjustments simply by clicking and dragging in the scene editor. But you can also make more refined adjustments to your background images in the options bar here on the right. Thanks for watching.